Hey everybody, how's it going? Josh here, and today we're going to talk about Kong and him as an adult, if he'll have any extra abilities that would come in handy as he fights Godzilla in the 2020 film Godzilla vs. Kong. Because currently they're really hyping it up, they're going to probably start the marketing more or less maybe a few months after Godzilla King of the Monsters releases in theaters to get people hyped up for the next thing and I wouldn't be surprised if just like we got in Kong School Island we get some sort of end credit stinger of some sort whether at the end of the movie or mid credits or after credits but Warner Brothers back in November 2018 released this synopsis and said the following it said that Godzilla and Kong were the two most powerful forces of nature on the planet now this is an interesting use of words to me because Godzilla, I can see that. You know, Godzilla has feats to back up such a title, such as basically everything he'll probably do in Godzilla King of the Monsters, and also his history in general of fighting powerful beings, whether it be Ghidorah or Rodan or even the Mutos from the first legendary Godzilla film. But Kong, on the other hand, doesn't really have feats or history to back up such a ranking or a title, I should say, that puts him comparable to Godzilla in some ways unless he gets some sort of huge power up that is currently not being revealed to us and probably will be leaked out either closer to the film or hopefully we're lucky enough that's something that never gets revealed from any department and it's a surprise for people as soon as they see it on the big screen in its full glory. Now the reason I say that is because Kong, even though Kong's pretty mighty and Kong's pretty great, I mean the skull crawlers aren't really anything that I would say is comparable to fighting either even Rodan, Mothra, or Ghidorah, or even the Mutos. I mean, the scroll crawlers to probably Godzilla would be nothing. It'd be like a little nuisance that Godzilla would probably stomp out of existence. So, Kong Skull Island, going from there to Godzilla vs. Kong, we're gonna need to see a lot more different. You know, something's gonna have to be a lot more different for us to really appreciate, and not even appreciate, but to really put Kong on the pedestal of one of the two most powerful forces of nature on the planet because he's definitely not the number one force of nature on the planet that has to go to Godzilla if anything else and even then Kong is probably not the second one it's Ghidorah that's probably the second most powerful force of nature on the planet and you could argue if Kong or not Kong but you could argue if Ghidorah is really the number two or number one depending on what he does in the film but they do say in Kong Skull Island, you know, Kong's still growing, he's young, he has a lot more, I guess, maturity to come as time goes on. However, they cleverly don't tell us how far along Kong is, so it's very possible that, you know, Kong will reach a size like Godzilla, even though at the same time Godzilla is so big in the legendary monster verse, I can't really see Kong realistically getting to that size. Because then you're going to have to ask yourself, as fans and also for those that speculate on these movies, is Kong an abnormality amongst his species, or did his species never just grow to full maturity before they were killed off by the scroll crawlers and all those animals? So in the original Godzilla vs Kong film, something that's really interesting to me is King Kong could absorb and release electricity from his hands and also had a limited form of immunity to radiation. And Kong from Skull Island never really shows this, but there are hints of energy-based abilities in animals from Skull Island. And the prime example of this, relating to electricity at least, is the Psycho Vultures. And they're able to release bursts of electricity from their mouths. Now, they're not nearly as big as Rodan or Mothra, and they're not nearly as powerful with their electrical-based energy blasts as Ghidorah is from what we've seen in the trailers, but the fact that these creatures do exist on Skull Island does kind of make me believe that it's very possible to some extent that Kong will have some sort of abilities of some type, maybe energy based, maybe something we just came to think about at the time when he fights Godzilla. Otherwise he would be portrayed as very much so a downgrade as a foe power wise for Godzilla considering Godzilla is going to come clean off of face and Ghidorah and Rodan. And at this moment Rodan even, not even Ghidorah, but Rodan seems like he'd be a lot more powerful than Kong and probably overwhelm Kong in a 1v1, which we have a video about, I kind of talk about that, go check it out if you want. But at the same time, it's very possible Kong, as a nod to his initial appearance, will gain some sort of either electrical manipulation or other supernatural abilities 
when he does fight Godzilla. Maybe he'll be enhanced, maybe he'll use tools that'll replicate something along the lines of that. We don't know. But Kong will definitely need some sort of boost to give him an advantage, not even an advantage, to make it somewhat even. Because at this point, Godzilla is way too powerful. But comment below what you guys thought, what do you guys think, and we'll see you guys later.